mouse sitting once again. As you can tell, the background's a bit different. And the dog decided to start eating. Um, so I'm sorry if you hear that. But um, they have a quite extensive, like, vintage cologne collection. And I wanted to kind of show you guys what they have and smell them because they said I could. Um, I also have my own cologne, which I'll show up since I was like a glass tapping. I'm trying to film before my day kind of starts. I don't work today. So this is black suede. I think they're all Avon colognes. Right, or this, yeah, this is Avon. We had two that we were gonna look at, but I, they literally just got sold. Like, which sucks because, you know what I mean? So we're gonna look at just one today. It's a different one that we're planning. It was more expensive. We're hoping not to be there because it's right beside the other apartment complex that we're looking at. Oh, this actually, this isn't probably a scent that I would wear. Well, actually, let's change my mind. So when you first smelled it, and like from here, it smells very like clean. And I like scents like that, but um, I just feel like they smell too soapy throughout the day. But this is like a, it's like a clean musk, and I like I like those ones because if the musk is stronger than like the soapy smell, then I will wear it. Because that that type of musk literally stays all day. Because I have a, I have a Gucci Guilty one, and it just smells too soapy for me. I'm not gonna really buy that one. But I like this. I don't know if you, we can still buy this or not. I don't think they actually use these clothes. That smells really good. I will say though, I have a couple of vintage, like way older clones than these ones because they were like early 2000s, I think. But I have some older. Avon colognes and um, they actually end up, we, when they're older, they end up all smelling very similar. I think that's due to the alcohol content in them. So I'm not sure about these ones. But I like this one, black suede. But anyways, I'm super excited to look at apartments. If you guys watched my last video, my last video, I was talking about how like my ex had like texted me and stuff, and um, we are back together. I know a lot of people are like, which is understandable. Sorry, this has become more soft-spoken. Anytime I do have my Blue Yeti, I feel like I have to almost talk to be picked up, but I know that's not true. for that like it wasn't just her and it wasn't just me but we we're both kind of stupid we we're both still kind of stupid so <laughs> I think this is a perfume not a cologne I don't know 
I'm gonna spray it though on my hand. Oh yeah, definitely perfume. I don't like that. I don't mind wearing some perfumes. I actually have a perfume that I like wearing. It's um, a Kat Von D fragrance. It's really good. But I like the lines. You can somewhat feel them. But I don't really like the fragrance. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, it's like a pear fragrance. It smells like pear. And I don't like, I don't mind fruit smelling stuff. It's just, I don't know, that one doesn't smell very good to me. Okay. So, this one. <laughs> Paradin. That's what I'm gonna, Paradin. Seems pretty tiny. We had a lady come into my work the other day. She was looking for this, like a slip. Ooh, this is cool looking. And she was saying that she always looks for earth tones because she got a, um, I don't know what word she used, but like a color thing done to see like what colors you're supposed to wear. So she said that she was an earth tone person because she has a darker complexion, white hair, which I didn't know what makes colors like that pop, but I've always been told I look good in browns and greens. I can't smell over the disgusting perfume, to be honest. I like stuff like this, though a good size to carry around in your car or something. I had a Dollar Tree cologne that I kept in my car, but I don't know where that went. I think I, I probably accidentally threw it out. I've been trying to clean my car out. Okay. This is like a, a spice, like almost cinnamon or like I mean, ginger and cinnamon have two different smells, but it's like, it like hits you, it's kind of spicy. It's more of a ginger and like, I'd say champagne smell. Ginger champagne smell, which I don't mind, but it almost gives you like a soapy smell, and I don't like that. That's just my opinion. Some people have those fragrances on because it mixes with their actual smell. Um, like, not like it's not like a bo. It's just like it mixes their skin and their natural smell that they give off, and it smells really good. I don't think that fragrances like this mix well with what I smell like. I tend to go for more earthy, ground smelling stuff or like musky scents because I think those smell the best with me. I don't know if it's focusing very good, but I love when glass does that like make everything look like it has oil in it or something. I am, oh, my favorite thing is to shop for glass products and like stuff like that. I've been having a huge kick on uranium glass, you guys. So I'm gonna probably buy like a UV light and go thrift shopping with it and see if I can find any. This is called Wild Country. More of like a cardboard box. But I hope you guys have been doing good. I always miss filming, but I can't. I've been getting home, and I'm just. So be at work right now, be on the clock. Past couple of days I've been doing um, shoes at work. Or at 
Lily's favorite thing to do. And I feel so bad. Yesterday, my coworkers found out that another coworker had passed away. I never met her, but they were very close with her, so it was very hard for them. He's been waking me up really early in the morning. I tried to sleep a little bit in. So I like try to sleep till like 10 or like a little bit before 11 because I don't have to start getting ready till about 11 because I have to be at work at 1. Or I clock in a little bit before 1. But been waking me up at like 8 and today I slept in until like 9 which isn't very good <laughs> I'm tired I have a feeling this is going to be a soapy one again which is fine oh I don't think this has ever been used hey <gasps> what it's like, what, how do you, I don't know what they're, it just smells like a very bad body wash, like, it's like almost minty in like a spicy way, you know what I mean, like, do you ever have those like, oh, like those cinnamon mints that you can get at some places, like Taco Bell has them, I think. Or they used to. Um, it kind of... It, no, it's it just smells like a cinnamon body wash, but like, it has like an after smell of like, just, it's not good. This is not what I would expect a wild country cologne to smell like. I was figuring this was going to be the muskiest of them all, but no. Which is kind of interesting. It's like, it's so very sweet and spicy, like cinnamon, but like not in a, a way that I enjoy. Then all, they're like all mixing on my body right now, and it kind of smells good all together, but like, to smell each individual one, no. Alright, this is the last one of their cologne, and then I'll show you mine too. Which you've seen a lot. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the box. My bad. Individual blue for him. And then this is also, again, a Avon product. Has it been really hot where you guys are at? Also, please stay safe if you're near states that are affected by the hurricane. That's scary. I heard it's going to be worse um, than the one really bad one. I can't even think of that. Okay. But here's what the bottle looks like. Isn't that cool looking? And it's, I'm sure this was more blue. At some point. Oh, what the heck. But it's like more green now. I think the best way to describe some of these colognes. Oh, this feels so good. It's like if you go to church and like you shake hands with an older gentleman. It's like a very clean, soapy smell. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about.
okay it doesn't have a nozzle did not know that oh this smells like it smells good too let's see if I can get some okay I just spilled it on myself but Ugh. I mean okay I think this is like probably the oldest one they have because you can smell the alcohol in it, and normally what that means it's getting old, I think, or it just means it's a bad fragrance. It's definitely more musky than the rest of them, but it's really similar to the wild country one. It's like sweet and spicy, like cinnamon. But that doesn't mean it's a bad cologne, it's just not something I would wear. I like the packaging though. I think the only things that I dislike about some of these ones, oh, my gauge isn't in. I've been losing my gauges left and right recently. But I think the only thing I dislike is that they don't have the name on these, like at all. And if you throw away the box, you're not gonna remember what it was. Because that's something that I would do. All right, and so these are my colognes that I brought from home. This is my last full day of house sitting. Um, I'm gonna leave for work tomorrow and then not come back because they're coming home. So this is an Aspen cologne. Now this is not in the original Aspen. I will say they have changed their scent and packaging. Like the glass has gotten darker and thinner and um, it, this does not smell as earthy as it does. It's more musky now, which I don't mind. I have this cologne because my grandfather used to wear this constantly and it's one of my favorites. And I would say it's honestly a really good, it's not like a, a best dupe, but it's a little similar. But I will say, now this is not the Gucci Guilty one that I was talking about that I didn't like. This is another one that I love and I will be repurchasing. I'm not one for like a luxury brand thing, but I wanted to spoil myself for my birthday. So I got this and also it's green, my favorite color. And I just, I fell in love, it's so good. It's a little spicy, but not too much. It's very earthy and musky. Like, think of like a rainy day where there's leaves on the ground and somebody just recently mowed the lawn. And it's like evening time. That's exactly how that smells to <laughs> me. But it's a little bit like with spice, like, I wanna say like with a fire up there cause that's a different smell, but I really recommend this for people who like earthy scents. And this, this I would say it's not as, it's just not as potent as that. This is, and this is way more spicy smelling than like earthy. It's just not like, I think they're in the similar scent category, but on like different sides of the spectrum of that category, if that makes sense. And this is super cheap. You can get this like for 11 bucks on Amazon, or I think it's like 20 to $30 at Walmart. And then you can get this for Sephora. I think it's like 90 something, but I always buy from Sephora when I have a discount code or a um, gift card because I'm poor. But this is the only Gucci thing I probably will ever own because I s never see anything there that um, actually looks cool. I don't understand. Well, we So at Walmart, because I work at Walmart, you guys, um, we sell dupe Gucci stuff all the time. We had like two collections last year. It was like the fake Bumblebee ones. If you guys have seen those Bumblebee backpacks, we had those. And then we also had um, like the floral Gucci pattern we have that too, which I don't know how we don't get sued for because that's like so obviously what we're trying to do. So we had that and we just got in these, they're on clearance already, we just got in these like cross body bags but they're tiny, like they're, like they, they would not even fit this in there. And 
it's a dupe of one of the Gucci crossbody bags, which I actually looked at because I was trying to find a dupe on this website. Somebody said that you could find it because I honestly a little bit liked it because I wanted to take something. Um, I'm going to a Tyler Creator concert and I wanted something just for my phone and I was thinking about that, but I didn't get it. But I might get this um, dupe that we have because it's pretty nice looking. It's like faux leather. But that are all the colognes that I have. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any video suggestions or anything you'd like me to do, if any one of you would like a tarot reading, I would love to give you one. Um, I'm just trying, I'm hoping to film more today after I get back home. Because I obviously want to do stuff that I want to do. Like, I want to film for sure, but I have stuff that I have to do and that I want also to do. So I have to plan stuff out. Um, because we're going to go, we're going to look at the apartment. If we like it, we're going to make, we're going to put in an application and see how that goes. We were really hoping for these other apartments, you guys. Like, the move-in date was the 8th of this month. And it was going to be so great. Like, the bedrooms were, like, perfect size. It was going to be a bedroom for us. And then we have, um, she, she has a bearded dragon. And then I have my guinea pigs. She also wants to bring her cat. And they have to be separated because that's a cat. So the second bedroom would have been used for that. And then she said we could make it into, like, a little studio thing for me. Which I was so excited about. But, um, somebody made did an application already got it like we didn't even get to tour the apartment before we could make an application because it was just that quick and then we're like okay we'll go for the one bedroom then because that's fine we don't need a double like it, that was just for like convenience and somebody took that too <laughs> so now we're looking at a one bedroom at another duplex not a duplex another apartment complex but it's more expensive for the one bedroom and I just, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out the guinea pigs and the dragon because we don't want the cat going after because we both work full time. So, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. We're also looking at homes to rent to own, but part of me doesn't want to do that because I don't want to live in Ohio that long. Because I'm basically going to be here for college and then I'm bouncing. <laughs> And she's pretty much on the same page with that, so we don't know which we're gonna do. We're just looking at what's cheapest, basically, because we just want to kind of get out. Like, not, I don't have an issue where I'm at, but she does, and I want her out too. And it would just be very more convenient if somebody was with her, and also I'd feel safer to know that I'm with her. So, yeah. But that's kind of the little life update for me. But if you guys have any video suggestions. Also, just tell me how you guys are doing. I miss chatting with you in the comments. I know I don't um, get to reply really quick because I work just so much. And I have to work on a commission tonight because I have an art commission I have to do. But we'll get there. I'm going to try and film a tarot video. I brought some crystals with me. I got my quartz with my golden healer. Another little rainbow there. It's so 